My lords, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. This is episode 33, I believe, of our Let's Plays series on a modded free game mode starting in 1850 and progressing until sometime in the future. Haven't quite decided when yet, as I alluded to in a previous episode. We start this episode currently on the outskirts of Ripley, which is our smallest town on the map, I believe. And the reason we're starting in Ripley is this is where the focus of this episode is going to be today. Because while we do have a passenger station in Ripley, we don't have any goods being supplied into the city at all. And it's probably worthwhile addressing that issue sooner rather than later. So that's why we are here. If we open the UI, we can see we have £320 million available to spend. Our earnings are currently in the hole at 130 million negative however that's because at the end of the last episode or during the last episode we spent quite a lot of money upgrading our trains in fact one of the last things we did do was upgrade the Coventry mainline trains to run the class PRR trains as opposed to the MILWs and that did set us back by quite a considerable amount so while it doesn't look good at the minute down here that isn't a true reflection of the state of our company. It is just taking into account the huge investments we uh, invested in, I suppose. Does that make sense? I suppose I've used the word investment too much there, but never mind. Yes, it, it takes into account that spending, which isn't everyday spending. It was a not a one-off purchase, but it's not something that we're doing every year. So, moving on, we need to get goods and machinery to Ripley. Fortunately we do have a freight line that already runs up this direction. We have a machinery factory here as well so we have a ready-made solution to get the machines up here. For the goods we have our goods factory at Morley and we have a freight line that does run this direction. What train is that? Oh that's our goods freight train okay never mind continue and it runs this way at present however what we could do is relax the stipulation that I've imposed on myself about freight and passenger lines sharing a route I mean the steel route does share with this passenger line here briefly on this little stretch here so the goods delivery trains could come this way around take this junction here and then they could branch off or even they could take this route itself and we can have a branch line run off somewhere in this area and then down towards wherever we want to place the cargo station for Ripley and that would make things nice and simple the other alternative is we could branch off somewhere around here bridge over or perhaps tunnel under our passenger line and bring it out here somewhere in this flat area or this grassland area I should say it's not really that flat but it's flat enough and then continue it up this way but we can decide that a little bit later on the first thing we want to do is get a goods station up here so Ripley can receive the goods and the machines that it is calling out for I think we shall put it back here by this farm in this free space that we have. Just get rid of that. The idea being, we also want to run goods at some point to Boston. And we could run it through the station in Ripley and continue on to Boston up there. So just thinking a little bit ahead there for the future. And I think that would work for us. So we'll have a relatively large cargo station out here we will need a truck station as well to take the goods into the city itself but that won't be a problem now I'm looking backwards to see where the train line is going to be running in from 
I think that will be a decent enough location for it and we'll name it the usual sort of name that we have for our cargo hubs which is cargo hub so that's the station there now we can turn our attention to where we want to run the lines that are going to be supplying this station now as I said machinery is pretty straightforward however I do believe we're going to need a fourth platform yes we are we can do that fairly easily if we just go into configure mode get our tracks and put in a fourth track here and then a platform on the edge of the track as well and in fact I'm probably while I'm here going to extend him out like so quite a distance because over time our trains are going to increase in length and I want to future proof this station so our longer trains have plenty of room to get on platform without their tail ends hanging over onto the line or even worse hanging over onto a junction or a switch so no put that slightly off there there we go so that's expanded that and while i'm here what i'm going to do is just to add a bit of detail to this i'm going to put in a few extra cargo buildings along here just so we don't have all this strange looking as it stands wasted space like that yes that'll do quite nicely I'll just smooth out the terrain here on the edge of these buildings so we could run a road along the front of them if we wanted to do which I think we will again just for detail purposes not nothing else they're not going to actually be used as any sort of access we already have access to the full station likewise no cars or wagons are going to run along this road but it's just to keep it looking a little bit more realistic and like it would do in reality so just like that and again we'll just smooth the edge off there and perhaps in the future we can return to this and detail it up a little bit further than it is at the moment but now it looks like more of a freight yard which is what it's supposed to be moving on then let's go to our track lane tool we don't need high speed tracks for this and what we can do here is where this junction is here we can take him back a bit you're gonna be a little bit distressed by this because I've removed your access but we'll take it all the way back and you will soon have your access restored and we'll connect it in like so and then we need oh that, yes I know I know I clicked the wrong thing there we go you are electrified yes but you have no catenary because I selected the wrong track so we'll just change you so you do have catenary that's better excellent and we're going to need a diamond in here so the trains can get onto the correct platform and onto the correct line as they leave there's the switch there there we go that's satisfied the complaints that our trains were having and then we can put some signals just here which allows our trains to approach the diamond in fact we can do them here as well and get off the platform a little bit faster okay so that's that done now what train comes into it it is a pickup isn't it yes it's picking up goods on this platform and we'll just verify that yes so what we're going to need to do is so we don't have trains blocking here while they're waiting for each other to come and go is we want to instead of having this line join the network here we'll take him back a little ways but there we go like so and have him run parallel with this bridge and perhaps have him join the line up here which gives us plenty of parking space, so to speak, for our trains to wait to get onto platform. And it keeps our main line, well, it's not the main line, but it keeps the rest of the line free for, for example, a steel train that might be wanting to come in and make a drop-off. There we go. That should be plenty of space. Where do I want to bring him in from? I'm going to say just... The mouth of the tunnel will be good. We'll get a decent speed if we can. That's no longer snapped. There we go. That's snapped too. That's better. 
construct. Oh, I, I know why it's not possible. It is because of these signals here. So we need to get rid of them. And now we should be able to do it. No, that's gone. Just clicked the, the wrong node there. And it was doing something rather unusual. There we go. That's alleviated the concern that the trains had due to the demolition of the track. And it keeps things running smoothly as well, which is good. And now we can have two signals there to protect the junction. In fact, that signal can go. Can't, there we go, that's what I want. And instead, that junction here can be protected by this signal. Because if we had it here, it could overlap on the junction and prevent anything else from passing by this way. That no longer should be an issue. So I'm happy enough with that. This one has a clearing signal there. This one has something of a clearing signal back here. However, this new line does not. So we'll put a clearing signal just there. So things can get moving ASAP. And then we'll go ahead and just drop in some blocking signals on the bridge. So we can have our trains park up off of the junction and keep that clear. These are quite short. But that's okay they'll use one or the other and these don't cost a great deal in maintenance so i'm not too concerned by that we'll keep them level with the existing signals like so and then we're going to want one for the diamond and we'll have a clearing signal here for the diamond as well yes that works absolutely wonderfully we can see our steel train comes in this way and one of our machinery freight trains comes in this way so our new machinery freight line, which is going to be going to Ripley, is also going to come in this way and go onto platform number four that we've just laid in. Now the question is, where do we want to bring him out from? Now unfortunately we have a farm here, and I've probably put this station in not the ideal location. So this is going to take a bit of thought. And while I am thinking about it in my head, I'm just going to put a couple of signals in there for an extra block. And I need to decide now how to get the machines off of this line onto a branch line into Ripley's cargo hub without, ideally, without demolishing this farm and all these fields that we have here. Now, I think theoretically we can do it from inside the tunnel. If I just verify that, you can. But I think that just is a bit strange, having a junction inside a tunnel. I'm not sure if that is something that is ever done in reality. So I prefer not to do that if I can. If we come here, it's going to be very tight to get into there, which is unfortunate. So we may, we may not have much choice. This is a bit of a quandary. Do I replace that cargo station I could if I had it more in line with this track which we have here the problem is going to be when we need to take a line out towards Boston the direction of the train uh, the direction of the cargo station is going to give us more inclination to plow through Ripley which is something we want to avoid as well I think either way we're going to have to make a compromise and I would rather compromise on this bit of track rather than plowing straight through the city of Ripley. So what we're gonna do then is, just thinking, just thinking, is there a nice way we could work this? Come underneath this? Having a tunnel would be a little odd and we wouldn't have enough time to get out of the tunnel to get a, a nice steady uh, gradient to get into the station. So that's not a possibility. We may just have to branch off inside of the existing tunnel and come off this way. Wanted to avoid that sort of thing if possible, but it seems I have no other option. At least nothing that's going to keep things looking natural, well not natural, but looking efficient and what have you. So we are going to have to have a branch line inside of the tunnel. Perhaps that is something that happens in real life and I'm just not aware of it, but I don't, not that you could really see inside of a tunnel actually. Yes, I was going to say every train that I've been on 
I've never noticed a branch line or a junction inside a tunnel. But I suppose the tunnels are dark, so you're not going to see it anyway. So there we go. We've had to sacrifice, I think, a bit of realism to achieve this. But sometimes you have to do it. We'll have a cutting there. And then we can skirt around the edge of the farm. Bring it now over to the left, like so. Try and get decent speeds here. I suppose six... Yeah, around about 50 to 60 miles an hour is tolerable. It is sloping down quite steeply, but that's unavoidable. And then we can just connect him into the station like that. And then at least now we have access for machinery delivery, which is excellent. Let's just... In fact, if I... Just do a little trick here. Put two dummy tracks in like that. And then the track that's going into the platform there. That will keep it nice and parallel. And that's roughly two tracks width. At least by my eye it is. Might not be. Might be a little bit more, a little bit less. But it looks pretty evenly spaced there. And then this is going to run on just a little ways. So... As always, the trains can park up off of each other's line and avoid tripping over each other while they're waiting to get into the station. And we'll have this connecting somewhere on this corner. So if we branch off here, get us a good speed. That's a nice speed. Yes. Where's the... There's the node. Yes. Does it look okay? It does. The catenary feet are sat on the tracks, but we can sort that out in just a moment once we get the tracks put in position. This is a little bit slower, but obviously it's the inner radius, so it is going to be tighter. Like so. Let's just quickly sort out these catenary masts by upgrading a little bit of track until they disappear. So that one will get rid of that. That gets rid of that one. That gets rid of all of them. But we can put some in via an asset tool later if we need to. But they are still electrified, so that's the main thing. Moving on, we need to put a junction, a diamond rather, in just before the station so they can get onto the correct platform. 50 osh, 50 osh, 50 odd miles an hour. I just said odd and osh at the same time there. I made up a new word. Yes, 50 osh. We'll stick with it. 50 osh miles an hour is okay. Okay, that's that all taken care of. Obviously, we are going to need signals. Fortunately, these are illuminated. They are electric lights, so the train drivers will be able to witness them inside the tunnel without any issues. And we'll have a clearing signal for the underground junction as well, like so. And then we'll progress on with our regular blocking for this little bit of track down to Ripley. Shouldn't take more than a moment or two to get this done. We'll need a signal to protect the junction. We'll have a clearing signal from the junction as well to get things free flowing as best we can. And now we can have our parking blocks here. For station access. Perhaps squeeze one more in before the diamond. Depends on the length of our trains of course. But we shall see if we can. Yeah probably. And they can also double as a clearing signal. And then we'll do the usual thing. Where we have two way signals. Just before the diamond. So the trains can at least depart the platform. While they're waiting for clearance further down the line. Excellent. So now we have a way to get the machines up. Technically, we also have a way to get the goods up here as well. They would come this way. This section of track isn't overly busy, so it shouldn't be a problem having an extra couple of trains run it for the goods delivery. So I'll keep that as is. We can always put in a dedicated line in the future if we decide it is warranted. However, for the time being, I don't believe it will be. We don't want tram tracks or bus lane out here. 
we do want a road connection and we will need a truck station as I mentioned. Keep flat please. Yes, that's fine. And we'll run it out the other way as well because like we just did at the machines factory, I think I'm going to take the opportunity to obviously modify the terrain so it's flat and smooth. But yes, I'm also going to take the opportunity to add some extra cargo buildings onto this station. Can't fit them in. Can fit the smaller ones in though, like this. Don't want to keep it too uniform, have a bit of variety like this. Oh, that collides. There we go. And we'll have a few more down here as well. Just to make it look like a bit of a busy interchange for the cargo. That'll do. That's not too bad. So we need the truck station now. So let's quickly put him in. We only need two, two platforms for this. One for goods and one for machinery. And in fact we'll have him parallel. Somewhere like that. Right up alongside. Perfect. And we'll extend him and make him a nice beasty looking station doesn't need to be this big not at all but just for appearances sake we'll do it like that we need the street connection now nice and easy just curve into the roads like so yep perfect and I'm gonna go ahead and put some waypoints in because I want to make sure the trucks don't turn around in front of one another when they're on the platform so for that end oh sorry to that end Gonna put a few waypoints just outside, like a, a giveaway there, and perhaps one there. And this one here will put a a no right turn. Sorry, that's left. I do know my left and right. I do. I do promise you that. And this one will have. I'm thinking about coming in here. By the way, we shall have. What can we use? Um. Yes, there we go into there so we have waypoints to ensure we can guide our trucks around this around this cargo hub a bit more cleanly don't need a capital a for that there we go ripley cargo hub now we need to connect it into ripley itself so we can do that with some street access we'll have we'll go for a large no yes we'll go for a large country road just because and then if we I'm going to say we're connecting over here. Reason being, this is all residential and this way it ensures our trucks stick to the commercial and industrial districts to keep the noise pollution down on our residents over here. So our goods can be dropped off there. Yep. And then our machines can come this way and be dropped off on this side street here. Yep. Obviously, the machinery is going to be done first because it's the closer one. So we can now get the line, the delivery line set up. This is machinery, which is a sort of a silvery colour, perhaps a darker one, so it stands out a little cleaner. And you are going up to there. I uh, yes, that's fine. That's fine. You do. You might get caught up behind a bus here when it's dropping off and loading passengers, but. I can live with that. I'm not going to change your loading if available option. I am just going to set you to only load machines, however, so you don't accidentally take some cargo or some goods with you. And this is machinery delivery for Ripley. That's that taken care of. Get some vehicles waiting in anticipation. We'll have six. Six should be more than enough. You do want to be highly maintained because you do go into the city. There we go. And now we can also set up the train line for the machinery delivery as well. You are using platform four. Yes, you are. Excellent. Let's give you the correct color. Okay, it does want to be the slightly lighter one. We've used the dark one for the steel. So I'll have to quickly change the delivery line color as well, but that's not a problem. Ideally, you do want to be fully loaded, but I'll only keep you at a three minute waiting time so you're not sat there ad infinitum. And this will be our machinery freight. Yep, 
And this is Bridgewater to Ripley. There we go. We can go ahead and get a train for this. Here is our train depot. I imagine you will come this way around and down here. I hope that's the way you're going to go. What locomotive do you want to have? It's not the longest run in the world. How much is that? That's 1.8 million per year. You're a little bit too slow. Perhaps the AE47 will do for this. And then you want cargo. Box cars, I believe. They all do 50 miles an hour. Go for that one. I know we tend to use this one as it's a little bit lighter in weight. But we'll go for the heavier one just so we have something different on this on the network. And you can have a capacity of 180. You do manage gradients pretty decently, so that's okay, because you do have a few gradients on your run. And we shall have two of you. You shall be coloured in correctly. And no, we can't see the line from up here, so let's just scroll backwards just a touch. There you go. And then we want to rename the lines. Click the wrong station. There we go. So we want to rename the trains. So we have our machinery delivery and l delivery chain from production to delivery to the city now set up. Just smooth some of that off there. That looks better. Now we need to do the same for our goods over here. So we'll take a trip over to Ripley. Uh, Morley, I do apologise. You do have a spare platform, which is excellent. So we can make use of platform four straight off of the bat here. So we are going from... In fact, we'll name him straight away. This is Goods Freight. Morley to Ripley. Forgot the I. There we go. Goods Freight, Morley to Ripley. That's one. I've got so many different colours for all of these. It's ridiculous. So we'll change your colour to that one. There you go. Uh, that's the one we've just done, so we need to add station. You're going from here. Again, if you're not fully loaded, I'm not overly con. In fact, you know, go fully loaded, but we'll drop your wait time to two minutes, so you don't hold anything else up too drastically. And then we'll scooch over towards Ripley. Here we are. And come into there. Okay, so you're electing to use platforms three and four. That's not a problem. I can live with that. You don't have any access issues. Let's just check the direction you've opted to use. So you have, yes, oh yes, that's the only way you can get up there. That's no problem. So there is a bit of interaction with our passenger line here. However, it isn't the busiest in the world, nor is it our main line. So that is a tolerable compromise for me. So he set up. We want to do the delivery as well. One thing I want to do while I am here, I forgot to do it at the time, is assign. So you're coming into. You're coming in this way. Perhaps if you came in via this waypoint, it would be a bit cleaner. So after Albert Road, hit that waypoint. There we go. That is better. So that's done. But now we want to set up a new line from the cargo hub to that drop off point there don't care if you're not fully loaded just take what is available please taking goods and we used that color there and this is goods delivery for Ripley there we go yes that'll work so you're using this one so if after you've picked oh clicked the wrong thing I do apologize after you've picked up on platform, if you go to uh, this waypoint, you will cross over yourself here, but that's okay. There's not going to be a lot of trucks on this line, so that shouldn't cause any issues there. There we go. That's the one that carries goods. And again, we'll go for six. Set the maintenance to very high. Get them the correct colour scheme and assign them to the line as well. Perfect. Did I need to change the colour of the... No, I didn't. I've done the line. I'm not too concerned about the train's colour. That's just an aesthetic thing that I like to do. If it doesn't quite match up the correct shade, it isn't the end of the world. So which way then have our... Oh, we need a 
delivery train for the goods, don't we? This is a longer run, so we can probably get away with a more powerful train for this. I think we'll go for the PRR class CG1. It is expensive to run. That's 2.1 million to run that. That's 2.2 million, but it's a lot faster. However, we don't have high speed track, but they, it is a limit of 75, so this one would be able to hit the 75 mile an hour limit. However, our passenger, sorry, our cargo boxcar wagons are limited to, I believe, 50, yes. So even the class 9000 wouldn't hit the top speed, so we'll just stick to the 9000. We got there in the end. You are carrying goods and you can have the traditional boxcar that we've used by and large throughout. 180 capacity. Yes, I'm very happy with that. That handles all the gradients with extreme ease, which is very pleasing. Two should be enough. We might need more just because the distance it is running, but for the time being, we'll stick to two. Color them in the correct color. Assign them to the line, which I cannot see from this perspective. However, I now can. Goods Freight, Morley to Ripley, yes. And then I will name the trains, and I'll do that via this menu here. So this is Goods, Morley to Ripley 01, and then the other one will be Goods, Morley to Ripley, question mark, it's not a question, it is Ripley, definitely. Uh, the other one will be Goods, Morley, Ripley 02, so we'll do that very quickly now. There we go, that's our trains correctly named. And that is now, even though they haven't had any drop-offs yet, but Ripley is prepared to receive both of the goods it is requiring. And I do now believe every city south of Coventry has a passenger connection and it all, they also have both of the goods that they demand being supplied as well. We may not be meeting their demand levels, but that's something for the future and that's just line optimization and tweaking and it's not something I'm overly concerned with at the moment. The first thing I want to do is at least get something being delivered even if we're only meeting a fraction of their demands. Okay so I've still got a bit of time left for this recording session so I think what I'll do is I'll spend a bit of time on camera now just to kill a bit of time. Just sprucing this little cargo hub up a little bit so if we get a paint tool we want is it that asphalt is that the right one if we just take a brush 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 the brush size I've said it again the brush size down that's the one I want yes so if we just hold shift we can go along all of this here into that little grassy area there and then as far out as the end of the platform I will square it off with the other brush option in a moment the square choice yeah that looks okay here we go I'm gonna need to rotate it and the rotation always looks a bit odd but it does do a straight edge regardless or at least it does a straighter edge than you can do with a circle now let's do the same over here that looks nice Yes, happy enough with that. And then we can do some scenery work with some assets as well. We could have tracks of old and new stacks and what have you. That's quite interesting. They wouldn't really be placed down here, however. But what we could get is a... Do we have any... Where's the fence tool? Which one is... There it is. It looks like a fence. It's quite clearly quite obvious as to what it is. That's more of a construction railing, don't want that. How about uh, metal fences, what do we have here? That, that, that will do, yes. Which way is it facing? I don't think it makes too much difference if I'm honest. What we can do here is run a fence out like this to the edge of the platform. It has overlapped a little, but that's okay. And then get rid of that. We'll do the same over on the other side over here. Need to get rid of that big boulder, so he's gone. Uh, we've still got it selected, yes. And again, we'll have it overlap a little, it's, it's fine. There we go, although it hasn't actually 
put it in correctly, I need to stretch him out a bit. And now I'm going to have two fences clipping. In fact, if I just go to finish, you can put an individual one in like so. That's pretty much roughly lined up, at least when you're just looking at it from a distance, it looks okay. I think we could probably do with a fence along the front. However, I think this time we'll go for this sort of fence here. Yes. Uh, we want line for this. So start there and just run along the end of the road to say around about there and then go again from here so we have an entrance we can have a several entrances in fact along here just to make it look a bit more normal you often do have multiple entrances or access entries into a building so we'll add a couple in like this run him down in fact you can probably go all the way in fact no we'll have one small one over here as well just like that nothing too major and then you can then connect in all the way to the end there there we go just fence him off a little bit they don't overhang the road which is excellent and then what we can do now is we can add some scenery in here too I am looking for something in particular I just can't remember. Is it this one? These are buildings, aren't they? Yes. I suppose we could have like a uh, a carport sort of thing there. How does that look? It looks a bit floaty. Get rid of it. Now, what I was looking for, we might be here. What do we have here? The PCC 1643 Pittsburgh. A new tram. We can end the episode by looking at that, but first I want to get this sorted out. Here we go, this is what I'm looking for. No, it's not, not quite. There are assets. Where where are they? Here they are, yes. Um, goods, don't want goods. Goods to, here we go. Yes, yes, we could put some of these just in this area here. Because these are the sort of goods that are going to be dropped off and populated on the stations and on our truck station. So it just makes it look like they have some stacked up ready to go. And it just makes the scenery a little bit more interesting. We'll go for some smaller or individual crates as well like that. We'll put... Oh, he's just offset ever so slightly. Can we adjust his height? Is that too high? I don't think so. It looks okay. But we can put a couple there as well. Return that back to normal. Couple down here. And we are also dropping off machines. So we can do some of those in this area as well. Again, it just makes it look like there's some ready to go. Ready for collection and onward delivery. And then go for some smaller individual units over here. We can also add some people in this area let's have a guard I know technically he's a, a train guard but he looks like a security guard so we'll have a couple there we want can we, what does a traffic warden look like does he look like a traffic warden or can we get away with saying he's something else we might be able to get away with it a fireman we can't get away with a policeman although I suppose you might have police in this area if there's high value goods around. Do we have any other people assets that we could use instead? Let's have a look. Oh, can we just search for... No, that doesn't quite work as I hoped it would, unfortunately. Oh, we could have some... What are these, like electrical boxes? Yes, we could have some electrical cabinets in the area as well, just to add a little something different here. Perhaps an open one that is being worked on if we can get a workman like there sure why not but that's not what I was looking for I was looking for other people assets what do we have here there no that's platform stuff that's yeah no that's not it these are oh we could have some cars parked up people coming to work and parking up that's normal isn't it yeah let's have a few of them they can park up here we'll have one of them we can have a little a pickup truck we can have one of them but in a different color going the other way there we go a few cars of the workmen who live in this set not live they work in this area 
Now, I'm desperately trying to find extra people assets. I'm not sure I have any. I thought I did, but they may have been uninstalled, which is a shame. What do we have here? Power poles, anything that's catching my eye that would fit in? Industrial shelter. Oh, a porter cabin. I suppose we could have like a, a checkpoint sort of porter cabin there. Yeah, that'll work. One on the other side as well. And then we could put some barriers across if I can find the barriers as well while I'm hunting through. I do know I have them somewhere. Oh, we can have a skip. I suppose they would have skips for waste disposal. A dumpster over here, perhaps a couple of dumpsters. An open one, just there. Yep, yeah, that's fine, that works. Anyway, that's not what I'm looking for. I've probably passed it several times by now. Knowing my luck, I have. Do we need an industrial... No, we've got enough buildings, I think, for the time being. Yes. Yeah, we don't need anything there. Roadworks, no. They are train assets, don't need them. Oh, here we go. Railway men. What do they look like? They look okay. They kind of blend into the environment, I think. What do the ones in modern look like? He could be a foreman. He looks a bit smarter. These are four platforms, but we could have one anyway. Oh, he's floating a little bit. That's okay. Oh, that's the height. Okay. Yeah, that'll do. What else do we have? We could have some cranes along here. Obviously, the cranes are what load onto the onto the wagons as they approach. At least that's the theory. Don't think we have any other thingies though. No, unfortunately not. UK signposts. I suppose we could have a signpost over here just to make the road look a bit more natural, a bit normal, if you know what I mean. Put it there. Can I, add, can I change what it says? No, I can't. It says North Killtown. Ah, oh, well. Just as a bit of aesthetic scenery. It doesn't look too bad. Give them a phone box. There we go. We can have a phone box or two. Anything else we can use while we're here? I don't think so. These are just more assets. Oh, we've been to that one. So we've looked at those people. There's nothing else. Hey, you're not. Oh, your people as well. Oh, no, that's a pub sign. Yeah, we don't really need any shops and such like out here. What's that? No, that's what I was done. P, what are you? Oh, these are the barriers. We need the barriers for security reasons. So we can put two open barriers like this. Again, just makes it look a little bit more lived in and... Uh, Realistic, if you know what I mean, like it would look in real life. There we go. Desperate to find the other people. Maybe I did uninstall them, oh, unless they're in missile. Ah, here we go. Person assets. This is in German, so my German isn't the best. So I'm just going to have to guess as to what these are saying. Some of them I can tell. Chauffeur, for example. Taxi driver. Police. Yes. Nurse. Krankenschwester, a fire fireman, firefighter. Is that a, a butcher, a housemeister? I don't know what you translate to. Oh, well, housemaster, I guess, is what you what you would be. Um, don't know what this is changing. Standing and sitting, maybe. Who knows? An officer, soldiers. Probably don't need soldiers, if I'm honest. Not out here. Oh, these are just people. Okay, some just some normal looking people. They'll do. Oh, we could have some road drivers. Oh, they look like look more like bus drivers than anything else. Perhaps a rail driver. Oh, hello, yes. They look like your genuine sort of or you know, generic deck hands, work hands, stevedores if this was a port, which it's not, so there wouldn't be stevedores. Can I well, I don't know that, that, that's changing. Rotate. Yes. Does that mean he spins round? <laughs> or does it just mean he moves? Oh, no, they, they are animated. Look, he's moving as well, but he isn't. Anyway, that's enough for that, I think. Just killed a bit of time there and dragged the episode out a little bit to make it more along the lines of 40, 45 minutes, as per usual. So, yes, I think we'll call this episode a day. 
if we just take the UI off and have a good look at what we've achieved today, which is building a cargo hub for Ripley and getting some lines set up. So yes, all that remains for me to say then, ladies and gentlemen, is as always, take care of yourselves. Ta-ta for now.